What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Natural Guido with your host, as always, your favorite grease ball, me, Angelo. A couple of days ago, I released the first video highlighting the last six month journey of bringing to life this little guy right here. This is my Tidy 10 trailer that I dubbed the Chariot. Why the Chariot? I drive a small pony. Pop sent me onto this desert lot and got a feeling it'd be a good spot for a handful of videos. So I did have an unforeseen day off at work today and decided it'd be a great day to come out and give you a little bit more in-depth look into the project. My history with vehicles is a little interesting, as I'm sure is the case with a lot of you. But long and the short, I ended up with this a couple years ago in college. Ah, college. I made a decision, I had to stick to it. And I fucking love this car. So, as I moved forward, as I continued to progress, as my knowledge built, as my trips got bigger, as they got more stupid, I needed a little bit more space. I got the idea for this about a year and a half ago on Pinterest. It seemed pretty far-fetched. I hadn't started my career. Oh, I'm a maintenance man, by the way. I wasn't very confident in my skills to build something like this at the time. I'm a tradesman now, but at that time I was working in a restaurant studying to be a hotel manager. Great career switch, by the way. Great career switch. As time went on, I moved into the trades, refined my craft, and COVID hit. I get a call from my cousin. He wanted to go camping with my other cousin. So we slapped together a jerry rig trip in a couple of days and ended up in Fish Lake. The events that unfolded in Fish Lake led me to build this. It took me a couple months to build this. It took me a couple of more months to learn what to do with all the footage that I had filmed, what kind of computer to get, and basically everything else it took to get to be able to stand in a desert lot in Vegas and talk to a little box, which has really become a big love of my life. So we're gonna go over how the box gets packed, the kind of gear I pack in it, how it all fits together, and what it looks like out in the backcountry. So a couple specs about the build. The tent is a Smitty built Gen 2 Overlander. It's on a Hallmaster, three and a half by four foot trailer. It's got a platform that carries 14 gallons of water. The wheels have been sized up from 12 to 13 inch rims. The tires have been sized up from a max speed of 55 to 81 miles an hour. And it comes equipped with its own bottle up. Pre-treated birch was used for the walls and pine select was used for the finish. It's been treated with an undercoating of flex seal and an overcoating of Thompson's water seal. In between the walls and trim, there's a thick layer of DAP Dynaflex Ultra. All right, so this is usually what the driveway looks like before I'm getting ready to go on a trip. We got chairs, tools, fuel health and safety, cooking equipment. This thing's awesome. I got it on Amazon. Knives, cutting board, scissors, salt pepper shakers, grill glove. Our newest piece of gear features the Julka Hot Tab version two. Created in Australia and first available in the United States over the last couple of weeks. This thing is insane. I found it six months ago on an ad on Instagram. It's fucking amazing. It's a hot water heater, it's a shower, and it doubles as a sink. Duffel bag, it's sleeping bags, mats, bag liner, spare tent and poles, hammock. This thing. I swear to God it was a gift. I, su I swear it was a gift. This bin is for dry goods. This one's for tools, stakes, lights, little dustpan, small gadget kit, kitty bag and toiletries. We got the cooler, the easy up, and of course the lifetime tables. And you can't ever forget the emergency road bag. Now although we got a good amount of stuff here, it all packed away, it's all got a place, and it offers just that extra room to get a couple extra bodies in the car if necessary. about 10 minutes and when you pull up to the site it takes about that long to set up too. The cover's got these straps and zippers all around. Easy. Ladder has a couple straps too. So the tent already comes with a mattress. You got two inches of memory foam. It is really nice but I did add a little extra because I can. It does like to get snagged up but whatever. Once the ladder's done, it just comes out and the whole thing pulls open. Ah. So 
See what I'm talking about? And that actually is all there is to it. Okay, once you get the tent open, you get eight of these little poles. These are your tension rods for your windows and a nifty little shoe bag. Bag is Velcro. And those go on these little loops. Shoes go in there, bag's waterproof, it'll stay dry. Tent's got four windows and a rain fly. It's double walled, suited for four seasons. And then you got eight little channels drilled into the base here. They go in at a diagonal angle, and that's how the tension rods hold up the windows. Get the other side. Now we'll just work our way around. The tent comes with two doors. They're double walled, like I said. So, you got this door, this is the net. And then you got the thick layer. So when you go to bed, it's cold outside, these zip down, cinch everything up, and make this one nice toaster box. The window's got the benefit of opening all the way up. So on a nice day, you can really get that airflow through there. And the best part, skylights. All right, so I'm sitting inside, as you can see, there's plenty of room. They make this in the XL. The XL was a little wide for the dimensions of the box. So I went with this one. It's lighter, it's smaller, it's less complicated. And so if I lay down, you know, this is me. And you got a good amount of room for one, maybe two more people, depending on how you look and how dire the situation is really. The skylights have a plastic over it. It's part of the rain fly, but it's nice and clear. It rains. There is also this LED strip. This LED strip lights up the whole inside of this thing. It's probably a little too bright, but man, it kills. It's got a USB, and you need any power bank. I can't tell if it's on, is it on? When it comes to the bed, the mattress is nice and thick, but I threw a couple yoga mats underneath just for the hell of it. So, just tent pulls open this way. I got the two tables, now that we got the shower and the sink and all that, we're gonna kind of set up like, pretty much the galley over here, I guess. And uh, kind of take it from there. So we'll do slightly lifted for cooking, slightly lowered. Off to the side. Always bring a fire extinguisher. Like, I don't give a shit. Just bring a fire extinguisher. This too, this is a Flowmaster. One of those little pump spray things. A little bleach, a little water. Food. That's up as easy as everything else does. The setup works four seasons, year round 365, in the snow, in the sand, in the sun. Everything is really contained in the general area of the car. Tools go underneath the tent, they get sheltered by the tent. All the extras in the duffel bag and in the toolbox. 
We got the Everest double burner stove. We also run a Smoky Joe from Weber. Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Also got the little MSR single burner that I take backpacking with me for beans and whatever else. Dry goods underneath the kitchen. Just got a new citronella candle. I love citronella candles. Kick ass sink. I just can't explain how excited I am about this thing. Water tanks here. I built a small little platform on the tongue. We got the little slide down jack. That all fits right behind the car. 14 gallons. This thing puts off half a gallon to a gallon and a half. You run it low and you shower conservatively like you should anyways. It'll last you enough for a pretty solid sized trip. This is the tent all set up. Sleeping bag, pillow, and a heater. The tent, again, is rated for four seasons. With the heater on for 10 minutes and all the walls zip close, it gets up to like 73 degrees. I wasn't sure how strong to build it. And I really could only think of like what a house wall looks like. So I kind of added studs as I went. The tent weighs 100 pounds. No, the tent weighs 120 pounds. Some websites say it's a little bit more. I kind of ranged it between 120 to 135 pounds. And it's got a max capacity of 660 pounds. So with two people up here, and I mean the average person's what, a buck 75? You know, you got that plus the 120. I kind of built it to handle anywhere between 450 to 500 pounds, but I'm sure it can handle more than that. It's got L brackets, it's sealed, it's screwed. It's just about everything I could think to do. But I think overall the setup worked out pretty perfect and as compact as I wanted it to be. Out on the open road, the car handles the weight perfectly. I have no idea how much this thing weighs yet. Um, I would like to take it into a truck stop or something like that to get it scaled up. But until then, I mean, this really is everything that I hope to be and more. And I really look forward to getting it out there and showing you guys what it can do. Got plenty of more shit to show you. So thanks for stopping by. It's always a pleasure. And as always, this really is the beginning of the journey. Take it easy, y'all.